Greetings Collective, welcome back to my channel. So good sharing energy with you. My name is Monette, I'm a professional intuitive empath and for those of you that are new here, that is what I do. And now let's get this message to you. I was guided because it is the new year, happy new year by the way, to run through the Chinese Zodiac with you to let you know a little bit about yourself, your traits, and, and we're gonna pull a couple cards to see what you might expect for yourself this year. A little quick fortune and forecast in a way a little bit of something that my angel said I had to say. So we are on to the rabbit, okay? And I'm gonna literally put this up here for you. We're working on inner child as well. They channeled me to work with your inner child as you guys are all my client babies and my uh, subscriber babies and observers and friends. Note the dates here. Hopefully that's uh, focusing for you. And I'm gonna read it to you just in case it didn't focus for you. The years of birth for the rabbit are as such, February 2nd to 1927. January, uh, excuse me, February 2nd, 1927 to January 22nd, 1928. February 19th, 1939 to February 7th, 1940. February 6th, 1951 to January 26th, 1952. January 25th, 1963 to February 12th, 1964. February 8th, 1975 to January 30th, 1976. January 29th, 1987 to February 16th. 1988 february 16th 1999 to february 4th 2000 february 3rd 2011 to january 22nd 2012 january 22nd 2003 to february 9th 2024 someone that's not even born yet all right so but someone will be born on that day and and again i used to be a teacher for many years for those of you that don't know that and you're new here you're like what is happening why is she reading as a children's book and i was asked to work with some inner child energy with you so we're going to read it to you just like i would my babies the refined and astute rabbit the fourth sign of the chinese zodiac symbolizes quick wit and virtue you guys are smarties so the peace loving rabbit is always polite and well mannered they like to show off sometimes and are fashion conscious y'all are my fashion killers beneath their calm facade lies the restless heart they are strong-willed and do not like to be held back they treat their children kindly but with discipline they will never be too indulgent or show favoritism towards one child cause or situation Let's talk about the advice for you sweet rabbits. Rabbits can be overly sensitive and tend to think too much. You guys are always in your head. So that would actually be air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Really thinking a lot, a lot of sword energy if you're looking at the tarot. This can cause an issue, excuse me, this can cause them to un, uh, unnecessary frustrations in dealing with people. They need to learn to put things into perspective. So that means that sometimes you guys can get myopically focused when you're angry. So the advice here is to take a step back when you're feeling overwhelmed with a situation. A couple days to sleep on something might give you a better sense of clarity. The choice of profession for you, ideal jobs for the rabbit include writer, painter, musician, architect, consultant, and translator. They all require attention to detail and shrink shrewd observations. Money matters. Rabbits are generally lucky when it comes to finances. Their generous and easygoing natures seem to increase your chances of getting rich. So that's something else to know. You guys have the path. Hold on one second, guys. You guys have the path to getting rich. It's, uh, you guys have the path to getting rich. Okay. Who you get along best with are goats, dogs, and pigs. Your lucky color is shades of purple, symbolizing mystery and charisma. So let's pull a couple of cards and just see what's coming up for you as we move through this year, the year of the, ra the uh, well, this is the year of the dragon. So I'm going to, you know, when we get to that communication, remember to use your throat chakra. Communication is going to be so important for you here with the eight of wands. That's what you need to understand as you move through this year for my rabbits. <laughs> we are in the year of the dragon, but this is rabbit that we are on. So forgive me if I misspoke there. Yep, you're going to be catching people in lies left and right. It is also being asked of you to communicate clearly. You have something to say. Make sure you get it said properly. If there's apologizing to do, do that. Or if someone is to apologize,
apologize to you, allow them the opportunity to. One of the things I'm hearing here is because you have a tendency to overthink, when someone wrongs you or steps out of line with you, you may want to fully shut them out. And they're saying that there may be some karmic balancing that happens if you allow someone to apologize. You don't have to have them back in your life. But the explanation, the understanding, and the moving forward is about closure for you. And it's something that you deserve too. All right, guys. So good sharing energy with you. Happy New Year. Come back and join me next time and we'll continue to evolve together.